Good morning, everyone, and welcome to GCSA TV, coming to you live from sunny San Diego and the 2016 version of the Golf Industry Show. We hope you'll stick with us all day. We've got a full day ahead. We'll be talking about hunting habitats for birds, uh, governmental affairs with some GCSA staff. We're going to bring John Mascaro's photo quiz to life right here on the stage. And of course, we'll have the big GCBA Harley drawing. Uh, that's always a lot of excitement. Uh, but before we begin, uh, we really want to uh, thank this year's sponsor. Lebanon Turf, once again, is uh, supporting all of our efforts here at GCSA TV Live from San Diego. And uh, we are pleased to present our coverage in partnership with them. And uh, to start our day, I'd like to introduce Christopher Gray, who is Golf Marketing Manager for Lebanon Turf. And Chris, welcome and thank you, first of all. Um, how has show been? What are you looking forward to on day two? Well, Eric, thank you very much. Good morning. It's great to be here again. I think this is our third year of mm -hmm. uh, partnering with you with this event. And I think being here on the trade show floor this year has just been uh, fantastic. As we look into day two, day one, a recap, fantastic. I thought the traffic, everyone coming through the booth, uh, coming there either to spin the prize wheel, vote on dog of the year, which is always very popular. We have a magician there this year. <laughs> nice. It's kind of like a three ring circus. So right. there's something for everybody at our booth. So today, we'll be uh, continuing with the dog of the year voting which uh, there's a very uh, a lot of people out there really lobbying for their dogs so we're looking uh, forward to continuing that and enjoying the wonderful San Diego hospitality sure so as folks are stopping by the Lebanon turf booth uh, you know what sort of, of things can they be going for on the prize wheel oh we have a lot of different things we have uh, we have hats we have actually have some grooming kits this year we I'm trying to think we have some sunscreen we have all, just all lots nice. of things it's a nice variety uh, you can hear the clicking from about a couple rows <laughs> down, kind of draws them into it there. So it's always nice to be able to, uh, you walk away with something. So. Very good, very good. Well, you know, uh, this time last year we were, we were talking Country Club MD, mm -hmm. and uh, obviously it's been, uh, been fairly successful, but you know, how have you felt it's been from, from the Lebanon turf side of things? Well, you know, it wouldn't be a golf show unless we talk about Country Club MD because, uh, again, when we first uh, started developing this, what, now almost three years ago mm -hmm. with our first year of sponsorship, I remember talking about it with our first three products. And now we've expanded over, I believe we're up to 15 or 16 products. Nice. And the, the response has been just excellent. The, it's really, it, it's captured the uh, needs of what the superintendent was looking for. Not only being able to deliver the prime nutrients that they need to be, keep their plants healthy but being able to uh, use the sea plant as well as with the humic acid as well it allows them to be able to uh, really s be able to manage the stress that they're going to get every single sure. year because I mean be honest no, no matter what's going to happen they're going to have to deal with stress by using MD it helps them to be able to manage it before as well as get quicker recovery afterwards so we found that the response to that has been outstanding so we've been expanding both the ADSG and greens grade as well as the micro mid grade the 125s because we just had a lot more people asking for certain mm -hmm. analysis and products for different fits that they found on the golf course. Yeah, makes sense. So, uh, you know, I hear that, that you guys are expanding a little bit beyond golf as well. It, it's really been amazing. We work very closely with our distributors because we like to know uh, what our end users are thinking. What, what do they like about the product? What don't they like? Because we're always trying to tweak it to make it a better product. Well, as the course of these years have gone by, we've actually found out that it's created a niche in a lot of the sports fields. And in fact, the last count was we have uh, around four or five different NFL stadiums as well as three or four different in, uh, Major League Baseball stadiums that have been using it on both mm -hmm. the main field as well as the uh, practice fields because they like what the superintendents have been getting on the golf sure. courses. They've also been able to capture and utilize the same for their sports field, which is obviously much smaller, much more intensely managed. And so they like the same benefits that it provides as what the superintendent does. Yeah, that makes sense. So we've been seeing as, as we look through a, a lot of co-marketing mm -hmm. with the uh, Emerald Isle liquid products. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, one thing that we understand is at Lebanon, we, we're very good at making granular fertilizers, but that's not the only thing that we make. But we also understand that during the summertime, the, the grass itself doesn't take up nutrients very well through the roots. It just, when it gets hot, because they always get hot, it always gets humid, mm -hmm. and that really puts a lot of stress on the plant. And so being able to take up the nutrients from the roots is not the most ideal situation. So since we also have the Emerald Isle Solutions brand, the liquid line, we felt that it made a lot of sense to kind of marry both those product lines up sure. to be able to complete an entire full nutrition program. So you've got a granular product in the spring, you've got liquid products during the summertime, and then in the fall, follow back up with another granule. 
So we've gone actually to the uh, point of putting together a bunch of agronomic programs that were specifically built for golf course superintendents in agronomic situations. Sure. So you can find these at uh, www.countryclubmd.com. Under the app, we've got about seven of them developed for both warm season, cool season. Uh, we deal with aerification. We deal with specialty like tournament prep that we've put together that includes products from both of the product brands of Country Club MD and Emerald Isle and works together to provide a superintendent a full year's program or a very specific program that allows them to accomplish a specific agronomic program or problem that they're going to be dealing with on their golf course. Yeah, so what's the, been the response to providing custom tailored solutions to uh, to their specific conditions it's been very well it's been very well received uh, they enjoy feeling like because uh, what we have on there is okay here's what we recommend but mm -hmm. for their particular situation they may want to tweak some of it on there and that's where our DSRs really come into play because they have access to all of these and they're able to kind of tweak them uh, the programs to fit the individual golf course because not all golf courses are the same so these provide a nice base situation but we found the superintendent really enjoys to be able to uh, take that base program and tweak it a little bit mm -hmm. to what they feel is a better fit for their specific soil type for their grass type for what they're trying to achieve taking all the rest of their agronomic practices into account makes sense and mm -hmm. you've got uh, you've got a new product this year is that correct we do. Uh, one of the, we've been trying to really talk to our end users a lot, a lot more, and the one product that they'd come back resoundingly, whether it be in both the north and the south, was they wanted a product that was more uh, all potash. Mm -hmm. So we did help develop uh, a 0024 all sulfate of uh, potash in the ADSG in size, but that includes both of the biostimulant, the, stuff, the stress buffering biostimulants of the humic acid as well as the sea plant. So we put all that together and we We've had a huge response in wanting to get this product out in the field. So we just finished getting it launched. Orders have been coming in for it. We couldn't be happier for it. So we're very excited that uh, it shows what Lebanon is trying to do by really going out there and ask the superintendents, what is it that you want? What is it that would make your job easier to do? And this is the latest product that through those roads has led us to the development. Yeah, but well, you guys as, as a company have been very innovative in, in developing new products and and customized solutions. Is there anything coming down the pipeline that you can share, or is that, uh, <laughs> is, is that yet to be unveiled? There, I'd say at this point, there's still a lot to be unveiled. Okay. We have a very robust uh, new product development process mm -hmm. that we spend a lot of time going through and kind of validating to make sure, because not only are we just trying to I mean, create new products, I mean, anybody can just create a new product. Sure. I mean, a lot of the reasons why people are here today is they want to see what's new. But again, I think I hit on this yesterday a little bit, we want to make sure that the products that we're developing uh, not only provide just one solution, but if we can provide two or three solutions in one product, that's really where we're trying to get through. And when we start dealing with uh, different products that involve the EPA, it takes a long time to sure. get to them. So yeah. we've got a whole lot of products in different stages, but at this point, until we're ready to go, uh, we're going to kind of keep that to ourselves for a little bit. Understood. But I can guarantee you we do have quite a few that I'm sure as we're sitting here next year, I'll be able to talk a whole lot about. Absolutely. Well, I, I'm sure everybody out there will, will stay tuned. Uh, shifting gears a little bit, thinking about uh, the location here, uh, you know, what have you enjoyed about San Diego, whether it's the convention center, oh. or the city, or the weather, or the you know, what, what has been your highlight of the last week? You know, I've been here for several days since last week, and uh, being able to be a part of the, the GCSA golf tournament was, was fantastic, and actually getting to play Torrey Pines was sure. simply phenomenal. I mean, aside from the world-class golf that the city obviously uh, allows us to be able to play, I think that the, the geographic location and all the amenities that are right across the street over in the yeah. gas lamp district uh, it really makes it for no matter what your tastes are no what type of food you're looking for i mean there's such an enormous amount of variety and such an abundance of just in mm -hmm. simple numbers you you really can take customers you can take and have meetings outside the convention center and get back fairly quickly and be able to enjoy everything that's over there which is just it, the city's really built to host our type of conference oh, absolutely well certainly we thank you for your time today and we thank you and Lebanon Turf for their support of GCSA TV Live. We certainly couldn't do it without you, so thank you. Happy to be involved. Thank you very All much. Right. So for everyone uh, out there, stay tuned. We will be back in just a little bit. Uh, our next segment uh, is going to feature some live animals, so that's always fun. Stay tuned and we'll be back live from GCSA TV Live in San Diego.